Good morning, hello and welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for another live show. So this morning I'm going to focus on someone's brand new to Brista Express. And lately I'm getting a lot of questions regarding Brista Express because I know some of you already bought this, had it for a long time, and then I know a lot of you out there are sending me direct message on my Instagram and my YouTube. And they just got this machine last week or two weeks ago. So, uh, so this morning, the first part of my video, I'm going to focus on the, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks. And then my second part, uh, we are going to open up some box. So we got some unboxing to do. And also I got some requests from Julie as well, uh, how to dial in some espresso beans. So, so let's focus on that. So if you're just joining me, my name is Hoon. Uh, my channel is all about making better coffee. I know, you know what the fact is, Brista Express makes great coffee in the morning. So if you're just bought this, this machine, okay, I know you guys are struggling with dialing in the ground beans. Okay, so give me a favor. Uh, whatever you are doing, if you are using the non-pressurized baskets, okay, so non-pressurized basket has, uh, has lots and lots of holes in it. So this one I've been using it for a long time. And then just simply take out your non-pressure baskets, okay? And back of your tray, you're gonna have another, you, you're gonna have many baskets in there. You're gonna have a total of four. So you have a pressurized baskets. And then you have two single non-pressurized and pressurized baskets. Okay, if you're new to the Brista Express, uh, wait, uh, wait a while, okay, wait about a couple of weeks, uh, start using the non-pressurized basket. But meantime, if you're having a hard time with the grinder setting, use the pressurized baskets. The fact is, I don't want you to get really frustrated first week or second week, you ended up returning this machine, okay? I've seen that all the time, very frustrating to dial in. So, as you know, Brista Express has built-in grinder. So this is very unique compared to any other machines out there. It's kind of like all-in-one. It's very convenient, but at the same time, a uh, little tricky on uh, grinder setting side. So I want you to enjoy the uh, next couple of weeks by using pressurized basket. So with the pressurized basket, you don't have to worry about the grinder size much. So if I were you, just grinder size, just Put meter under eight, okay, meter on the road, number eight for now, okay. And then whatever interval, don't worry about that size, whatever you comes with it. Uh, comes with all your settings here, is our factory set, okay. Don't worry about the uh, program mode, manual mode, temperature, don't worry about those. I want you to enjoy for a couple of weeks. So, uh, so I'm going to start with, let, let's make some coffee, okay. And I'm just gonna be using, I got some old beans here. I had it for about over a month or so. I'm using Airscape. And then if you're using hopper, okay, which means, so this is, uh, as you guys know, already know it's hopper. And I like to use single dosing at a time. And what I mean by that is I like to just measure out like 16 gram or 17 gram or 18 gram, but if you don't have scale, don't worry about it. Just use the hopper. And there comes the ground amount, and then you have to set the ground amount. Sometimes, you know, people like to set at, you know, three o'clock here. Oh, let me show you. Okay. Some, some people set a grinder amount at three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock. So there's something you, want, you might want to play with. Okay. And then for if you are new, just set at four o'clock for now, okay? So set at four. And uh, this morning, I'm, I'm just gonna use the hopper this morning. I'm just gonna get some, um, I got some beans in there. I'm just gonna put some, all the beans in, like so, okay? Uh, since if you don't have, I mean, if you don't have scared, get one, okay? I know this is, Another way to make great coffee, but the thing is, I don't like to getting stale. And plus, so this hopper is right next to the machine here. 
so all the heat is going and all the moisture so I mean it gets pretty stale so that, that's another reason just get yourself a scale just dosing out a single dosing at a time but meantime no worries okay so again if you're new to the Brewster Express pressure as basket for now number eight for grinder setting and then uh, if you don't have like dosing funnel like this so this is 3d dosing funnel I'm gonna put the link down below if you don't have this you can just use regularly as well okay but having this dosing funnel makes it a lot easier so so let's make some coffee here I'm just gonna start my machine it's gonna be stopped automatically Okay, and just take it out. I mean, that's why I like this having funnel. As you can see, it's messy free. Okay, I'm just gonna, here, let me show you guys better look. I'm just gonna tap like so. I mean, if you're new, obviously you don't have any tools, right? Uh, I, I prefer like using like distribution tool. If you don't have it, it's okay. I just use the like temper, okay? I'm just going I'm just going to go like this so I mean evens it out and just give it a good temp. And then for again since we are using the pressure as baskets, we don't have to worry about the the temping pressure much. So you're gonna get a decent shot every time. Okay, so everything is all factory set as well. But meantime, what I like to do is, whenever I pull the shot, just flush it out first. Get my shot glass there. My shot, uh, warm up my shot glass. Okay, I'm just gonna toss it in. Are you gonna set reminders for people for that? Set remind. Oh yeah, uh, I think sometimes I'm gonna set the reminder for my uh, video as well, so you guys can remember. Okay. So now, simply put the beans in, the you know, quarter filter in. Don't worry about the waiting your shot right now, okay? I want you to just enjoy the coffee. Everything is a factory set. So with the pressurized basket, it's going to give you good pressure all the time. So, since I'm gonna do the double shot. Okay, so double shot, you're looking at between, you know, you can put, you know, 17, 16, 17, 18 gram. And the, but do not use, like if you put like 10 gram, do not put a uh, double shot on it because it's going to give you, it's going to be, you're going to get a really sour shot. All right, so let's go. That's not a double shot. So this is, I'm doing the double shot. So with the pressure as baskets, you're going to get a, Pressure all the time. Good pressure. You guys are going to hear the hissing sound because the coffees are now pressurizing. So now you have pretty decent shot there, okay? It's really good. So I bet you guys can enjoy that as well. So that is definitely a trick to it. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything else. Grinder size, grinder settings, time, just press it and go, okay? If I'm gonna drink this, it's gonna be better than non-pressure baskets, no, but I mean, most of us, we don't drink espresso at home. Most likely, we got to use that as, you know, black coffee or make yourself latte. So, but we're going to try the espresso. It's okay. You know, it's, it's definitely drinkable. Is that great? Not really, but it's really good. Okay, it's not great, but it's good because we want to make better coffee. You know, we don't want, I mean, I'm, my channel is not about making great coffee all the time. I want you to make you guys a better coffee and have fun with it. So definitely, 
If you are new to the Barista Express, if you had it for a couple weeks, fresh read it, uh, switch out the basket to a uh, pressurized basket, just enjoy for the next couple weeks. And then make sure to subscribe my channel. I have hundreds of videos on grinder size, grinder setting, the temperature or program mode. And then now you guys can you know, dive into the, the fine, the tuning your machine. But meantime, just have fun. Okay, so one thing I have to remind you. So whatever reason, pressurized baskets really stuck in a port filter, okay? So if I'm going to tap it, it does not come out easily, okay? Not like non-pressurized baskets. Now it's come out, finally. So it usually get really stuck in there. So, I mean, don't worry about it. Uh, that's part of using uh, pressurized baskets. All right, so what I'm gonna do is now, I know uh, yesterday, is that Julie? No, I have a quick question. Yeah, we got some so questions. Ask how long until the Barista Express shuts off? Okay, so all depends on the which model you guys get. I know EU model, the European model, that shuts up after like 30 minutes. But with this machine, I mean, it's still on for like about 45 minutes to hour and go to standby. Okay, and standby means it doesn't shut up all, all the way, just shuts up, just standby mode. So, so this is kind of like US model. It's different from country to country, I think. Okay, so meantime, I have a request from Julie yesterday. And there are any question about this machine so far? Um, no, we just have Lee who says he just has had his now for about a week. Okay. Okay, good. I mean, Lee just got this machine. Yeah, I know. I'm glad you are enjoying the machine there. Um, yeah, I don't see Julie on here yet. Okay. I can still refer her yeah. to this video. Okay, so, so once, so best way to remove your port filter, I'm sorry, not the port filter, filter baskets. If you have a tower, get it out. If it's too hard to do it, get another uh, filter basket to edge to edge right here. And just use the leverage there, like so, okay? You can take it out as well. By the way, I do, I do remove the black plastic piece inside, ju just because, okay? You don't have to remove it, but you know, I take mine out. So, I mean, don't worry, if you lost this, don't worry about it, you know, you, you can still make coffee. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch to pressurized bas uh, non-pressurized baskets. I'm just gonna warm up my powder filter there. And then now I'm, what I'm gonna do is, uh, yesterday one of my viewers, Julie, uh, asked me to dial in the brand new bag, okay? So this is the brand new bag of uh, Good Brothers Coffee. If you guys watch my channel, you know, I like Good Brothers Coffee. Plus, you know, they give us 25% off. So I'm gonna put the uh, coupon code down below as well. So this is brand new bag. And then Julie asked me yesterday, she was using what? Top burr five, side burr eight. So she was using five for the inner burr. And then she was using number eight for the side, okay? So, I, so I already set my inner burr at five and top burr at eight, just like what Julie did. So let's, I'm gonna help her dial in this pins here. Someone asked me what's the black inside the, the plastic is the reason they have plastic there so you don't you don't lose the heat okay because if you are making once you turn on this machine within like 30 seconds this machine is ready to go but everything is all cold okay imagine if you have a cold a hot espresso hitting the cold uh, the metal piece on the metal bottom part there you are going to lose the heat, which means you are going to have, you know, it's not as good the tasting wise. That's why they have black pieces there to, you know, you don't lose the heat transfer. But uh, since I warming up in the morning anyway, about good you know, half an hour. So that's why I took it out. Plus it's easier to clean. That's not, that, that's the reason. Okay. So I got, I got brand new back. Oh, since I got new beans, which means I have to take this hopper out with beans inside. So what, what they did is pretty genius. So let me show you. 
I'm gonna give you guys some. So if you want to, you twist it. Okay. So now we are on lock stage. We can actually lift it. You don't lose any beans. Okay. So I can transfer to my, uh, my other coffee canister as well. The problem is I still have all these old beans inside. Okay. So what, uh, let me show you what I do whenever I switch out the new beans. Okay. I'm just going to transfer this bin here to here. I'm just simply unlock it. Okay. So now you have all the beans like this. Okay, from here, since I have older beans inside, if I'm going to put the new beans in it, I still have all the old beans, which means I don't want to mix it. So, meantime, I have to flush out the old beans. Okay, so what, I, hold on a second. Here, yeah, here we go. So I have to flush out the old beans because just take the old beans out. Okay, so even with, I got all the beans out, you still have, the uh, inside has different gaps there. You have, you still have some old beans there. So what I like to do is whenever I switch out the new beans, it's this brand new beans here, get a handful of brand new beans. And then flush out the rest of them. So this is a, uh, another reason I don't like to use the hopper because whenever you switch out the beans, you are going to waste some beans. So that's why I like to do single dosing at a time. All right. So with single dosing, I'm just going to measure out. Uh, I like to use around 17 grams. I know some of you like 18 or 19, but I prefer 17. Okay, I just usually measure out my 17 gram right here. Okay, I know it is a little tedious. I know a lot, of, a lot of you out there watching me for over the years using single dosing at a time. So even though it's 17, I like to use a little more. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put that in. Okay, I'm just going to. So right now I'm setting on uh, number eight outside and interval at number five. Okay, so hold on one second. Okay, my son has some technical difficulty with his computer. Hold on a second here. So th this is great thing about the live show. I have to take care of my family business as well. Hold on. Okay. And then my whatever reason my son's Wi-Fi got off. So he's working right now, his online school. Okay. Okay, I think I'm back here, okay? Thank you for your patience. Okay. All right, so, so I'm back. So now I'm just going to just tap it, get the, all the beans out from the uh, Good Brothers Coffee here. Okay, even the built-in grinder is not as good, but you know what, they're good enough, okay? And then sometimes what I like to do is, I got this paper clip with, uh, wine coke with the paper clip, it's called WDT method, so wise distribution technique. So if you see the, the clumps, you just go like this. 
and then makes everything all fluffy, okay? Like so. Okay. And uh, I know most of you watching my channel, you guys most likely, you guys have the distribution tool like this. Okay, and then I'm just gonna give it a temp. And then this time I'm going to use, I like to use about one to two ratio, uh, 17 gram in and like 34 gram out, between like 34 and 35 around there. I'm just gonna lock it in. And this time I like to use my scale, okay? Uh, if you don't have like scale like Akaya scale, it's okay. And then just as long as you have scale. And then some uh, people ask me, oh, when to start the time is all up to you. I you know some of you start time when uh, start the button. I think what that's what James Hoffman likes to do. And also some uh, some people likes to start time when the first drop hits. So I mean this morning, you know what? I'm just going to start time when uh, when I start the button. Since this scale does not have timer, I have a timer, just manual timer from Amazon. I'm, I'm just gonna start time, okay? Oops, here we go. I'm looking for, again, 34 gram, 30, between 34 and let's say 40 gram. Okay, there we go. Let me show you guys the shot there. So this is Good Brothers Coffee. Shot looks really good. I'm looking for 34 gram, 34, 35. There you go, I got 35 gram around 28, 29 seconds. Okay. As you can see from here, you're gonna see the big thick crema there. Wow, it's beautiful. Uh, I like the shot time as well. 30, about 36 grime, around, you know, 30 second range there. So, I mean, this is considered, I think, as good shots, okay? But, uh, let's try, the, uh, let's taste, okay? Let's taste. Again, I mean, that's why I like to start with it, like, right on between, like, number eight. And they go up or down, all depending on the taste. And then it comes to inner bowl size. That, I used to have number six, but I changed the number five just because. Okay, I'm just gonna mix it up. Okay, here we go. Cheers, guys. Yeah, it's nice. Smooth. Tiny bit sour though, okay? I like, I like a little bit more uh, extraction. So if, if our Julie, I think it's Julie, mm -hmm. uh, number, I, uh, right now, number eight right now, maybe, i uh, trying to maybe number seven, okay? Maybe number seven. Yeah, and I think you're gonna get a right shot, okay? But if you're making this one for like Americano or long, you know, they are the same. Or like milk-based drink, this is perfect. So it's all dependent on the ratio, you, you guys. So experiment with one to two, one to three, even one to four, okay? Because I know this is about maybe, people likes to say, they want to put 18 gram in and like two ounce out. Okay, so I just use the standard metrics and you, you don't want to mix 18 the gram and ounce at the same sentence, but I did it. Anyway, so but so you want to use like, you know, different ratios. But two ounces is quite a bit though. Two ounces is like around like 55 or 60 gram of liquid. So that's too much, personally. I know some of you like it, but I prefer like more like one to two ratio. So. All depending on your taste as well. But again, so Julie, if you are watching this later, uh, go down to number seven, okay? I think you're gonna get the right, perfect shot. You have tons of questions. So now, hold on, Ho hold on your question, okay? And then I'm going to shout out to Mr. Thomas. If you are watching this, I just got your package last night. I did not open this. So I'm very, very excited to open your package, okay? So Mr. Thomas made this one for me uh, from Singapore. So 
Thank you for that, Mr. Thomas. I, 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 don't think that's, I don't think that's your real name. I'm not sure. Okay, so I've been, so he sent it to me more than a month ago from Singapore. And I know the internet, internet, international shipping is like, takes so long. Okay, so this is the package he sent me. And he actually commissioned this to uh, have someone made. I think he made two, one for him and one for me. Okay, this is a custom dosing funnel, okay? This thing is, it looks fantastic, okay? Mm -hmm. This thing is, it looks fantastic. I don't know what this is, but hold on. Okay, so he, uh, he's, uh, he got a little bit of rubber, rubber piece to go in there as well. But as you can see from here, I mean, this beautifully designed. Wow. And this awesome. is, I'm really excited to use this because by the way, uh, I think a crema coffee product just came out with a new product, okay? And they, they, they are coming up with a 54 millimeter dosing uh, cup of Brisa Express, but thank you, Mr. Thomas, this is awesome. So, so this one goes to like this, so that fits perfect. Wow. Okay, hold on. So as you can see from there, I mean, this is perfect. This fits right there. I'm really more excited about using as my niche dosing cup because it's gonna be it's gonna be nice. Go go right in, and then I can actually dosing out the beans. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. You know what? I think I'm gonna make another coffee using that dosing cup right now. But meantime, I'm gonna change my grinder setting to number seven. So hopefully we're gonna get a good shot out of it. That's, that's perfect. Anyway, so there's a lot of designs out there for 54 millimeter dosing funnel. I mean, you could go with uh, like eBay, you can go with plastic, okay? I mean, some, someone's, a lot of people are making a 3D design for this right now, but it's nothing like, you know, beautifully made. Uh, element uh, the metal piece as well. So, so pretty much this one fits right into. By the way, if you are using the non-pressure baskets, the pockets come out perfectly. I mean, mo most times. So, why is the puck soggy sometimes? Uh, whenever someone asks me why coffee is soggy sometimes, because whenever you are using the older beans, I get that. Okay, but I mean. That's why I prefer using freshly roasted beans as well. So, so this thing is go like this, fits perfectly, top it over. So now you have a dosing cup that fits into Bravo 54 millimeters. So this thing is fantastic, thank you. Okay, so in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna change the number four setting on uh, number seven on that. So let's give it a test run, okay? I'm, 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 okay, so, I mean, this is finally, okay, finally, uh, so Mr. Thomas, this is kind of like one-off, but I know the crema did, I mean, I've, I've been talking, I, I mentioned to him about a couple months ago to the owner of crema coffee products, I mentioned to him that no one makes it. No one makes the 54 millimeter dosing cup, but I'm finally, I'm glad they made. Okay, so we're gonna do one more time. I'm gonna be making Good Brothers Coffee here, but we changed the setting to number seven. Okay, again, I'm gonna be using the 17 gram. You know what, I'm gonna put that's 17.1 gram for now. I mean, having this cup is really nice because once I put it in, I know exactly, I can measure on the top as well.
I got 17 gram in. Just make sure. Just uh, everything. I got 17 gram in. Got 17.2 gram out, okay? Because what happened was they have uh, older beans inside right before, so. But I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm just gonna wipe it clean. So now I can do this. Go like that. Shake a little bit. Just make sure I got everything, all the beans. And you gotta lift uh, slowly, okay? Because you don't wanna be overflow. Like so. I'm just gonna distribute. Uh, give it a temp. And now I'm ready for extraction here. So this time I'm gonna be using a Kaya scale. And uh, I think I'm gonna do the same as last time. Okay, so this time actually, you know what? I'm gonna start time when first drop hits, okay? So let's see what's the taste difference from the different two different shots there. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in. Okay, let's give you guys a better look. It's about 10 seconds of pre-infusion there. Okay, the pressure looks pretty good. Shot looks very thick and yeah, that's a really beautiful shot there. Okay, I got 35, so about 20 seconds. So, okay, so look at the shot of it. This is fantastic. So this is great thing about, so this is why I prefer you guys, you know, start thinking about drinking like freshly roasted coffee. I mean, it's extremely thick. If you guys love cremas, they do a really good job at the Good Brothers. Okay, enough say there, let's taste it. Let's try out uh, Good Brothers espresso blend. So one before was a tiny bit sour. But this one, I'm gonna mix it well. Cheers. Okay, just right, okay. Nicely balanced, smooth and creamy. So this is a fantastic, a fantastic milk-based drink. I mean, the, I mean, espresso blend, they're usually like Colombia or some kind of South America. So more earthy flavor. I might be wrong, but that's what I understand. But yeah, this is really smooth and it's really good. Good for milk base or Americano. Okay, so I'm going to open to questions right now. Okay, by the way, I'm, I am going to giving out, okay, today is my international viewers only, okay? My international viewers only. I'm, I'm going to give out another, my 3D dosing funnel, okay? And I'm gonna throw extra for my friends from international friends I'm gonna let's see so this is a marble color okay so this is kind of like unique uh, it's not black or white it's a marble from uh, Jonathan sent me this the other day actually like six months ago for a long time I got marble color and I, I just made a homemade uh, WDT tool for you it's gonna be set has my initial on it anyway so I'm gonna send it to my international viewers later and I need to come up with a good questions Okay, so what's the question? Well, just a small wondering, Dylan in Adelaide, Australia wants to know, his barista shuts off after about 10 minutes. Any ideas why that? Okay, so Dylan mentioned to me about your barista shuts up after 10 minutes. Yeah, that's something's wrong there, okay? Because they're usually half an hour from my friends. I mean, if you have, if you have barista express from internationally, I know people out there, let me know how long you have to wait to shut up because 10 minutes is really long. I mean, no, no, too short, okay? I mean, it could be, I don't know, it could be normal, but yeah, 10 minutes does not sound right to me. And so somebody wants to know how they can get a niche grinder. 
Someone asked me how to get niche grinder. Don't they? Don't you have to put an order in and then they make it? So with a niche grinder, what they do is uh, you have to go to their website and then they're kind of like they do pre-order. So they have they have like a, the allotment of uh, the grinder, okay? So once they reach, you know, certain numbers, let's say if you reach 100 order and then they're going to build it and ship it out within a couple of months. So by the way, the best place to buy niche grinder is a niche website i'm going to put the link down below as well but do not go to other website to order it because there's no other website okay there's i saw some fake websites out there so make sure to be careful only place to get it is niche and make sure to be careful somebody asked what was that nice metal cub what is it okay so this cub I think it was that one okay that was Okay, so someone asking me about maybe this, maybe? Maybe. Okay, so this is dosing cup from Niche. Okay, it has a Niche brand name on it. So this is a, comes with a Niche grinder. This is 58 millimeter. Does not fit with uh, Brista Express. That's why Mr. Thomas made himself this uh, 54 millimeter dosing cup here. So yeah. Um, we talked about the coffee cup. Yep, we talk about copy pucks. Um, so, how much difference is one internal burr? If I have a six internal burr and a one external and change it to five internal, does ten external equal six minus one? Oh, wow, that is that is fantastic. Uh, someone asked me what the who? Who's Dan. Dan asked me what the internal burr represent. Is that one X? I'm not quite sure, okay? I don't know. But uh, if I go to the change to six to five, it does make a difference the outside as well. So yeah, I'm not sure what's the, the multiplication that is, but yeah, that's something you have to play with. Somebody else asked, how should I dial in Starbucks Christmas blend? Okay, someone asked me, how do I dial in the Starbucks Christmas blend? Oh, that, that, that's a good question, okay? That is... And then let me ask you, for that person asking me about the Christmas blend, uh, are you drinking as a milk-based drink or like espresso? Because, I mean, that's different as well. You know what? Better yet, okay? If you are dialing in any kind of like uh, store-bought coffee beans, use the pressurized baskets. Make your life a lot easier, okay? So use the pressurized basket for the store-bought. And then comes the grinder setting, just put on the middle at number A for grinder setting. And that's it, just let it run, okay? Because store body is very tricky. They're more like dark to medium to dark roast anyway. So yeah, uh, use a pressurized basket for that. Um, okay. Okay, we got some any questions? Yes, more. Okay. So I'm waiting for my um, my wife is being as moderator, so she's going through some question there. So hopefully I can answer you guys. By the way, I hope, hope you having a wonderful Thursday morning. Uh, it's raining in Tucson right now, so. Is there a link to buy that cup that Mr. Thomas shipped me? Okay, so this one does not. Okay, so this is a one off. Okay, uh, no, he's not sells it. So, and then. And let me find out about the, the other one, okay? I know uh, Crema Coffee does that as well, so let me find out for that. Mr. Thomas said the rubber padding is to stick below the grinder switch to ensure the cup stays upright. Oh, uh, Mr. Th um, you know what, Mr. Thomas? This one works perfect, okay? I mean, just stays perfect here. So I don't need that rubber piece. Yeah, just perfect. Um, Thank you. Dylan says, did you know in Australia the name Hoon is used for street racers? Okay, so Dylan told me that the, my name Hoon is the, it's called Reckless Driver in Australia. Okay, yes, I, I know that as well. So I do have a website called Hoons.com. Okay, so if you guys want to know, so I do have the website name, domain name for that. I, I was planning on doing something with it, but we'll see how it goes next couple months. Okay, by the way, so I was, uh, I, I think it's Mark or someone from my viewer mentioned to me about the flat white, okay, the, 
the flat Ys come from Australia or New Zealand, and the Mark Tommy's come from Australia, no, New Zealand. So, uh, someone out there, what's the origin of flat Y? Uh, let me know. Let me know that as well. Okay. Uh, what else? So we got some more questions. Okay. Okay, we got some more. Somebody, Dylan says, if you Google level 54 millimeter dosing cup, you can find some on Etsy. Okay, so Dylan mentioned to me, if you go to Etsy website, you could buy dosing cup for 54 millimeter, but I believe they are all 3D modeling, okay? I mean, so 3D model like this dosing funnel here. So I think, I mean, uh, send me a link. I mean, keep find a metal version of 54 millimeter because they are pretty hard to find. Because I got this one from eBay as well. Okay, this dosing cup. This is also 58 millimeter. So I looked everywhere for the 54, but they're pretty rare. All right, so me, any? Um, Amy Doe said she ordered a niche for February 2021. So shout out to Amy Doe. She just ordered a niche grinder. So I think she ordered it. I think she's going to get on February, okay? So it's like two months out if you want a niche grinder. So somebody said, I have a problem after coffee extraction. The coffee cup is split, not come out as one piece. Okay, so again, I mean, if you are using like older beans and the, the, your puck's going to be very soggy or just usually stuck in there. So, I mean, you have to kind of like force it to get out. So, I mean, that's pretty normal as well. Okay. And also just make sure do not feel your, so do not feel it to the, all the way to the top. Okay. So again, if you are using non pressure baskets, the pucks come out nicely. So just make sure use the razor tool on your back of your tray. Just make sure to skimp out the, the top layer. So the, the razor tool give you the exact the depth of your coffee puck. How often do we need to clean the machine? Someone asked me how often we need to clean the machine. So whenever you turn the lights on, it's a cleaning lights and this scale, whatever lights turns on, and then clean it. The blinking light means a clean me cycle. And then the salad means a descale. So uh, if you don't know how to do it, uh, make sure to subscribe my channel. I have the, uh, all the videos relate to that as well. So pretty easy process. Um, what's the inner burr? Someone asked me, what's the inner burr? Mm -hmm. The inner burr is the burr inside, okay? I mean, if you don't know the inner burr, uh, let's see. Maybe I can show you guys the inner burr, okay? And after this question, I'm going to uh, come up some questions and give away the dosing funnel. Okay, so let me show you the, my inner burr. Okay, so as you can see from my... So this is your, your inner burr right here. So whenever say, you know, inner burr setting, whenever I mention to you guys, so that is a setting. So that has a 1 through 10. And then you can actually uh, remove your this pin, and you can adjust the actual setting as well. And if you if you if you want to change it, uh, check out my other videos how to do it. It's very simple. Uh, but make sure clean it before you take the bird out. Okay, makes it a lot easier to take it out. If not, sometimes it's like stuck in there. So. You go counterclockwise to remove this. So clockwise to lock it and counterclockwise. So make sure uh, clean it before uh, adjusting your setting. Can you talk about your scale? Okay, someone asked me about scale. So I have a two scares here. So this is the $10 scale from Amazon. I'm more like $15. So this is a Kaya scale. So this is somewhat high end. Okay, if you're looking for Christmas gifts, gifts, okay, not the gifts. I mean, this is fantastic because you can time it 
when first drop is all automatic so I mean so they have a five different mode so you can actually w wait tell you the and also give you a different time yeah so this again the oops that's my wife and kids and the the with the Akaya scale it's not cheap but if you are looking to buy someone a nice Christmas gift or holiday, Hanukkah gifts or holiday gifts make sure look at this uh, scale for sure I'm gonna shout out to Sal to sending me this though okay so are we ready for next uh, George said who in the inner bird is the one with the screw the outer bird is the one you pull out and adjust yes the outer bird the, okay so inner bird okay again George the inner bird is the counterclockwise and take it out and then you can adjust it so that's the inner bird set and the obviously the outer bird is right here I mean you can adjust from outside so okay you know what uh, let's give it away the dosing funnel okay again this is for my international viewers only okay I did a US uh, viewers yesterday so today is uh, only the international viewers it's gonna be very it's gonna be kind of like guessing game so I bought this it's called tiny tin okay it's a tin metal can container so I'm planning on using that for a single dosing purpose my question for you so here, here's the question how many grams I can fit in this so it's gonna be fun whoever guessed I'm gonna set it at zero how many grams I can fit into this dosing cup so guess okay so guess how many grams this is we have 20 22 9 30 10 35 25 20 27 10 okay oh, you can go to decimal as well like 20.5 or 20.1 or whatever whoever closed 18, 14, 19, okay 25 32 18 24 10 okay let's see any anyone 18 and a half. 18 and a half okay are we done 19.6 okay are we done yet uh -huh. okay good 30.5 so 30. 30. 30.8 17.8 36.3 23.7 19.5 19.2 okay I'm gonna give you 10 more seconds to everybody put the numbers in okay five four three two one okay so this is for my international friends and you are I'm gonna send you the dosing funnel and the little tools there okay are we ready yeah, okay here we go so answer is to your question 18.52 gram who's the closed 18.52 18.52 who is that well we have somebody who said 18. okay we got 18. was the first one okay we got first who, uh, whoever said 18.5 who, who said it 18.5 so andy i i think you are the winner andy 18.5 yeah. okay andy you uh let, let me know where you're from andy if you heard me So we got look like Andy is the winner Canada. from Canada. Okay, so Andy, I'm gonna ship it out to you today. Okay, so far we got actually we got two from Canada this way. We got Andre from Canada and Andy. So and I, I wanna give out to UK and Australia, rest of the hopefully, hopefully, you know, those maybe you know what? Maybe I'm gonna set aside for the UK and UK and Australian only next couple of days because I know someone from my Instagram sent me a message that this dosing funnel if you buy from uh, Australia they cost you what $70 or so okay that's ridiculous okay amount of money so 70 or 50 or 70 bucks for this 3d dosing funnel so 
Oh, hopefully I'm going to uh, maybe like tomorrow. Here's what we're gonna do tomorrow morning. I'm gonna give out to UK and Australia combined. That's we're it. Do one more US. And then, well, we're gonna do one more US as well. So we're gonna do one more US on and, Saturday. And then tomorrow we're gonna do Australia and UK only. And your odds are pretty good then. All right. So any more questions? Yes. Okay. Um, Oh, by the way, Andy, if you are listening, uh, send me your address uh, on my Instagram. Just direct message me, Andy. So I'm going to send it out to you today. Can I use any store-bought descaler or do you have to use Sage Rebel recommended? Oh, oh, by the way, someone asked me what kind of descaler can I use. Um, you can buy any descaler. Uh, I've been using just a disc cheap descaler from Amazon, about seven, eight bucks there. So yeah, use that, okay? You don't have to buy the Sage brand. Okay. What else? Oh, I bought Breville. Okay, so. Um, hang on. Okay, so let's we see. Have, uh, he likes espresso with milk in the morning. Which combination would you suggest? Pressurized or a good way to learn non-pressurized? Okay, so someone likes to drink a. Uh, latte in the morning the milk based drink uh, you know what pressurized basket should be fine okay because you are going to mix with milk anyway so it makes it a lot easier to make coffee so you don't have to deal with it but once you get the the uh, non-pressurized the setting down and then this should be a lot easier after that but in the beginning just use the pressurized baskets if you, you don't want to dial in your beans because you are going to waste some a lot of beans in the beginning so get a big bag of you know beans from Amazon. Do not buy from store-bought beans unless they are like, you know, I know Stumptown is pretty good. Uh, Pete's, uh, Pete's Coffee is also pretty good as well. It has a roasting date on it. So, but comes to, if you like the Starbucks, uh, make sure go with the blonde, okay? Blonde roast, blondie, I think. The blondie is their lighter roast, but it's more like medium roast. So they're not that bad either. So again, if you don't want to deal with grinder setting, go with Pressurized basket. Turkey and Malaysia want to know about them. What? You said UK and Australia, but Turkey and Malaysia say what about? Oh, good. Okay, you know what? So tomorrow, okay, it's going to be UK, Australia, Turkey, and Malaysia, okay? Yeah, yes. Because okay. I think we only have a handful of viewers from so Malaysia. Malaysia and Turkey. So yes, you guys are in as well. But no Canada though, okay? When I clean, Julie says, I cleaned my burrs yesterday and used that method you showed by flapping the hopper lid yep. and I got all the old coffee out so yep. nice and shiny. Yep, good. So I think Julie did a, the technique for like, you know, flapping like this. So, you know what, see, see, I mean, I still have some more coffees coming out. What okay. filter do you use in the machine? The Sage one is a bit wasteful. What filter? Someone asked me at the what filter? Yeah. You mean water filter? Maybe. What filter do you use in the machine? The okay. Sage one is wasteful. Okay, so I don't use a filter from my uh, water filter. I use uh, just the filter water from my refrigerator. So, I mean, you could use the filter as well, but to just get it from, you know, like off brand, they're pretty much all the same. So, you don't have to buy Sage brand, okay, or Brista Bravo brand either. So, because they have a lot of, you know, let's say, same same type of water filters out there you can use. Um, yesterday I made the clean cycle from my barista and the porta filter disconnect itself. Does anyone else have the same problem? Okay, so so someone mentioned to me go through the cycle, the porta filter disconnect itself. Okay, so do not put the whatever you do the clean cycle, just make sure lock it in all the way. Okay. Because not halfway, all the way to lock. If, because all the vibration starting to lose and it ended up falling out, falling out. So just make sure lock it in all the way there. Okay. What happened to your Rancholio? My Rancholio, someone asked me what happened to my Rancholio Serbia. My Rancholio Serbia is sitting on that corner. So I, may, uh, I use that for my espresso in the morning. And then my uh, wife uses for Brista Express. And uh, I make, uh, I use this motion for the milk-based drink. Oh, 
Saudi Arabia, France. Okay, yep, Saudi Arabia, France. Okay, so here's what we're going to do tomorrow morning, okay? We're going to do international except uh, Canada. Uh, and then maybe, yeah, I think that's fair. Okay, and then mixed opinion on this. Do you include the roughly 10 seconds of pre-infusion time into your shot time? I start before and aim for 35 seconds total, like roast. Okay, so someone asked me, when do you start the shot time? Again, so Brista Express has a 10 second pre-infusion time as a factory set. So if, you, if you're going to add that as a shot time, you're looking at around 30 to 35 seconds is good. I mean, but again, it's ultimately your taste. Just make sure that tastes good. S uh, stick with that recipe, okay? And then just play with it. I mean, the great thing about making espresso at home, you can actually experiment and play with it. And then hopefully you guys are going to dial it in just right. Uh, make sure to try other beans as well. Because, I mean, it, it doesn't have to be espresso blend for drinking. Because you could go with, hold on, so I got my espresso blend. And then also if you go to like Good Brothers Coffee, they have a Columbia, Beans from Columbia has a different tasting note as well. So cherry and milk chocolate and syrupy. So cherry flavor as well. And then some of them um, has a almond, toffee, and lemon flavor. So it all depends on the... I mean, try, okay? Try different type of origin, you know, single origin versus bland. Just have fun with it, you know, because uh, these holidays. And... I mean, make sure if you have access to local coffee roaster, make sure support them as well because time like this, this is a struggle for most small business owners and like myself as well. I own a small computer shop in Tucson. For some reason, nobody wants to fix, my comp uh, fix their computers. Anyway, uh, it's just make sure support your local coffee shop. And if you don't have a coffee shop nearby to buy beans, uh, make sure check out like Good Brothers Coffee too. They're small coffee roaster from out of Michigan, so, okay. What's the purpose of holding down the double shot for infusion for 10 seconds? Holding down? Mm -hmm. Someone say holding down for pre, no, so, so pre-infusion is set by factory. Say once you press the button, the pre-infusion is, pre-infusion is already happening. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna shut it for now. I mean, that's, that's automatic built in. But if you are using the manual mode, okay, you can override the pre-infusion time to like three seconds or five seconds. So that's the manual mode. Um, let's see. Okay. Does the grind amount on the machine matter? The, if it's a new user. Okay, if you are new to the Brista Express, if you are looking at the grind amounts, yes, does matter, okay? And that's why I prefer having a scale to like dosing out the you know 18 or 19 gram if not if you are using the hopper maybe set at number four okay four o'clock range okay so give you enough and then once you temp it back of your tray you're gonna have a razor tool there oops and then once you temp and pack just go like this and then just uh discard all the loose grounds so this is pretty good tools too. Last question. Okay, we got a last question here. What's the difference in cleaning and descaling? What's the difference between cleaning and descaling? The cleaning is you are cleaning out the back flush, okay? So whenever, so, so this, one, uh, this one machine has a three-way solenoid valve. So whenever you stop making coffee, whenever you stop, all the back flush go into the back of your trays, okay? So all the water is, this is, okay. So all the water is fall right here, or coming out from there. So they are, the back flush, the cleaning is like a clean the, the, the lines, okay? The, the entire, the line of, oh, what's the word looking for? The internal, the line and those, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then descaling means, since this one does not have a boiler, but, uh, they are using the thermal block, has a different, you know, those copper lines go through. It's copper or some kind of metal lines go through. The disc gear pretty much cleans out those line items, those lines. So uh, if you are using the hard water at home, water is hard, 
definitely you want to do that whenever the light comes on. If not, you're going to ruin the machine. So make sure, definitely follow the schedule. That's the great thing about the Brista Express. Remind you to when to clean. And then my Renturly or Servia does it. I have to uh, manually keep track of when I uh, cleaned it last time. I think we are good, guys. It's been a lot of fun. And then tomorrow, again, tomorrow morning, I'm going to come up with some fun topic for you guys as well. And then, let's see, make sure you follow me on Instagram, okay? I do a lot of like behind the scene of my channel. So, I mean, if you haven't subscribed my videos, my channel, make sure you subscribe. And then you guys are having a great day. And see you guys tomorrow morning.